Kaidakom. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithal. And today we're making Daivara. Now it's a very simple recipe and it's easy to make but it does wonders when you serve it at a party. You'll impress all of your guests. <laughs> right, a super fancy dish. It is, it really is. <laughs> and here's what you need. One cup split black gram or urad dal. Salt to taste. Quarter teaspoon roasted cumin powder. Two cups well beaten yogurt or curd. Water for grinding. Chaat masala, roasted cumin powder, red chili powder to taste for garnishing, green chutney and tamarind chutney to taste for garnishing, finely chopped cilantro for garnishing. Oil for deep frying. So for our vada, we have uh, washed and soaked the urad dal uh, really well and it's been soaking, you want to soak it for at least about six hours or overnight if you have the time. And we've drained out all of the water from here and now we're going to grind it. We have a blender over here and we're going to add the dal in here. And uh, we, so the, the two things that you need to keep in mind is number one, it needs to be coarse grind. And number two, you need to use as less water as possible. So blenders do need a little bit of water. Uh, but if your dal is very well soaked, it won't need a whole lot. So just put it in care a little at a time and we'll just go take it from there. And in between, we're going to keep, uh, you know, just mixing it in so that it grinds properly. Alright, this is done. It took a little bit of effort and a little bit of time. But uh, a little bit of patience takes you a long way. <laughs> and it took about uh, a little bit over half a cup of water mm -hmm. to grind it. Again, you really don't want to add too much water because it's very hard to form the radha later. That's right. And this is like perfect, you know, it should not fall. So then the overas will hold shape. So while we're pouring that out, I'm going to turn on the stove and get the oil ready for frying. So we have our vada batter here. Uh, for the vada, all we're going to do is add a little bit of salt. And this is roasted cumin powder. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to mix it really well. The key is to whip it almost so that a lot of air comes into the dough and it makes your vada's lighter. Okay, the oil has been heating up at me on medium heat and uh, you don't want it super hot because if that happens then the uh, the vada will get cooked from outside and you'll get a nice color from outside but inside will be raw and it will be doughy. So we have our uh, batter here. It's very easy to make um, vada especially because urad dal has a tendency to uh, kind of shy away from water. So the trick into making these vada is to wet your hands. So we have just regular water here. You just dip your hands into the water, shake off the excess and take a small portion of the dough into your hands kind of move it around so it forms a ball. And now with your thumb, you can gently press in the middle and form a hole. Now what we're going to do is just flip this into the oil. Now we'll let these varas cook on, the, on one side until they're nice and golden brown and then we'll flip them over once and let it cook on the other side. Now this, uh, but making the hole in the vada takes a little bit of practice and if you cannot do it, that's okay, you can just make smaller balls. The only reason why we prefer making the holes is because then the, the vada gets cooked uh, evenly and faster. So. But if you can't do it, that's okay. Just uh, make you know smaller balls, and you'll be you'll still have the same end result. In fact, if you happen to use too much water while grinding, this is the main thing that you won't be able to do: uh, is make that hole if mm -hmm. your batter is too loose. So you're looking for a very pretty golden color on both sides, and. Then they're ready to take out. We have a paper towel over here and we're going to take these out on that so we can save a little more calories going into our stomachs. And now these actually freeze very well. From this point on, let them cool down, 
put them in a Ziploc bag, airtight Ziploc bag, freeze as safe as possible, mm -hmm. and freeze them. And whenever you do want to use them, you can just take them out and uh, defrost them. So if you have those unexpected guests, <laughs> then instant they were up. That's a good, good idea. <laughs> so once your they were are fried, mm -hmm. we can soak them in some water. Now this is a really important step and you don't want to skip on this because if they're not soaked in water, then they're eventually not going to soak in all the day or the yogurt that we're going to put in later. So these have been sitting a few minutes and we're ready to soak them. Yes, yeah, so this is room temperature water and uh, we're just going to salt it a little bit so that uh, the varas soak in a little bit of the salt and they're not uh, just bland. In. And you should let it soak for at least about 15-20 minutes, depending on time, and uh, give them a dunk. <laughs> Help them along. Help them along. Yes. yes. True. And we'll be back. So our David have been sitting for about 20 minutes in this water, mm -hmm. and they've softened up quite a bit. So we'll just take one and squeeze out all the water. Now the water goes out and the oil also goes out, so this is a good thing. <laughs> we can put it in a platter. The platter that you're going to serve it in. Mm -hmm. And while that's going on, I have the yogurt over here. I'm going to pour it into a bowl. Salt it a little bit. And you have to be careful because the water themselves have got salt and then they were soaking in the salt water, so just very, very little. Um, Yo uh, salt in the yogurt just for the yogurt. And we're going to beat it up, mix it very well. And uh, now the, the yogurt for the dahivara has is a little more on the liquidy side. So uh, because the liquid is going to be soaked in by the varas so, and they're going to just kind of plump up. So we're going to add in, uh, now if your yogurt is a little uh, sour, you can add in milk. Or, or you can add in water. Right. So, and this uh, water and milk is to your preference. You're going to pour it on the dahi vada. On the vada actually. And you want them all well coated and immersed if possible. If your yogurt is too thick and you decide to serve these a little bit later, they'll really dry up. <laughs> so I've had that happen to me once before sure. I pulled it out and <laughs> All you see are but uh, the, the yogurt is gone somewhere, soaked up into the thing. So definitely keep it a little bit on the liquid side. And now we're going to garnish with all these wonderful things. And you can, these are all to taste. So um, just how spicy or how mild you would like it, you can, you know, control things over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna, I've got uh, roasted uh, jeera or cumin powder here. And I'm going to just, you know, decorate it a little bit. This is your time to get creative. <laughs> yep, and we have too much time on our hands, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> and here's some chaat masala. It's the same color, but I'm just going to do it so that there's a little bit more garnish when you mix everything. And red chili powder. Now this gives a wonderful color and a nice zing to it. There really isn't any spice, of course, in the yogurt or in the vada itself. So. Um, if you like it spicy, this is your chance, either with the red chili or with your chutneys, you can make them spicier and put that on. Mm -hmm. And we've got chutneys over here. We've got uh, the tamarind chutney and we've got a green chutney. Either you can use mint chutney or coriander chutney. They both taste excellent. Last but not the least, <laughs> this goes so well and it adds such a wonderful splash of color. And at this point you need to put it in the refrigerator so that it you know, sets well, it soaks in and give it a little time to soak in all the, the liquid from the yogurt. So at least a couple of hours yeah, in the refrigerator hours. would be great. Right. And yes. it actually tastes really good when it's nice and chilled, so that's the that's added benefit. Awesome. So we're ready for lunch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.